Hey gang, I wanted to go ahead and create a video that would showcase some design tips and show y'all how to create your postcard. Notice here that I have a very strong sans serif font with a very light weighted thin font. Now this is called Futura Book and this font right here is called the Bold Font. I got that font from defont.com. I noticed that they go really well together and when I put the third annual shed contest and stretch the dates out, it fits kind of a rectangular format which I like as a graphic designer. Notice I also have a bleed on this document here. If you do not have a bleed on your document, the way you do a bleed is you go to File, Document Setup, you'll see bleed right here. And I have a quarter inch bleed. Sometimes you can just have an eighth inch, but I'm gonna go ahead and have a quarter. Say okay. That's the little red margin line right here. You're gonna need probably a bleed on a lot of things from your brochure to your flyer to your postcard, it's all there. So I have this rectangle here and I have it here. It's a, just a solid color. I like the earth tone going against this white contrast real well. I have these boxes I made. They're just simple boxes. And I, I was careful enough to zoom in and make sure that they weren't sloppily just thrown like this. They, that they're literally, I can even draw a guideline and make sure they're just perfect. This is clean design, okay? Contrasting fonts strong lines here strong contrast this is a see this first and then see that second then see that third and then work your eyes all the way down to here that's here creating contrast so I'm going to select this object here and I'm going to place three images in here so I'm going to go to file place and under my desktop I have created a college I have created a folder for this event the shed contest is right just saw it a second ago it is right here and I have a stock folder I'm going to create that say open in place and click one time it's huge it's, it needs to be sized or fit into something so I hit command X to cut it, command plus to zoom in. I wonder if I can paste into this. So I go edit, paste, paste special is not available here. So is there any way I can get that in there? So I, I don't think it's going to let me. So I'm going to command Z, go back. Okay. Grab this object. I'm going to hit command minus a bunch. Transform it. If this ever happens to you, this thing pops up. We'll use it later in class, but for right now, just close it by clicking back on the tool in the little close box. Okay, here we are. I'm going to shrink this into size. Command plus, zoom back, grab that. Command plus, just holding down shift this time. This almost fits this box here. Okay, now, what if I don't want that arm there, but I do want this there's a stacking order just like sheets of paper here. I'm going to click on this white box and say object arrange. Bring to front. Now, I'm going to move this picture just down a little. Right there. And now I'm going to select both objects with the white box on top. I can control click on it and make it a clipping mask. That image is right there. Let's do the same thing here. File place. Stock image number two place. Again, resizing this image down using the free, free transform tool. Okay. Holding down shift as I drag that out. Again, I'm going to put that where? Below this one. So I can hit command and left square bracket that sent it to the back. It's not completely to the back, so I'm going to hold down Command. By the way, Command is the best second. If you hold down Command on any tool, it's going to give you the black arrow tool. So I'm going to hold down Command and Shift to select that, selecting multiple objects. Again, I'm going to right click and make a clipping mask. The object's right there. I'm going to put one more image in here. Go File, Place, the third and Final Photo. I can also, just by the way, if I just click out, I can drag when I paste that picture. 
and drag that and put it right where I want it. Okay, so I'm going to use my free transform tool this time. I'm using shift and option. Shift and option drags from both corners. Drag it a little bit bigger. Move it over a little. Okay, I'm going to hit command and the left square bracket, sending that to the back. And I'm going to hold down um, command and shift and select this white box here. Now I'm going to right click, say make clipping mask. So I have three images going in. That right there is a postcard. There's not much to it, but it's simple, it's clean, and it looks great. That might be all the information. You might want to be like, well, Mr. Bush, what about a tag phrase? You could do that too. All right, but I like it. It's clean. If I was going to do anything else, I might put something in the white right here, but I really like this contrast. It looks good. So let's go to let's go talk about exporting PDFs to print. So this is a five and a half by four, yeah, five and a half by four postcard. Okay, I'm gonna go to, to file. I want to export this as a what? People save as a PDF. Save as PDF. Let's say with bleeds. Or I'm sorry, with trim. We're not doing. We've we've given the bleeds. We're gonna get. Well, these are the bleeds, but we're going to give it trim marks. So we're going to say with trim. Say save. All right, so marks and bleeds. I'll click on that. I'm going to click trim marks. I'm going to say save PDF. It takes a second. And this will be a good second for me to tell you. What I'm going to do is open a regular letter size document after this and I'm gonna place this in there with the front and back maybe I create the back in this file right here and I just put it on its own layers maybe I take this whole layer here and I put front of card maybe I say alright well I'm gonna make another one for the back Okay. alright so I'm gonna go to file new like I said we're trying to create a print size document for people to, for you to sample this time too. So I'm going to go letter, long, create, I'm going to file, place, we're going to search for that PDF postcard with trim, place, say yes, and we see our card with the trim mark, which would allow us to, um, Print it out and cut it with cut the, the trim right off. So it'd be perfect. Now what if I was trying to print the, something on the back of this card? Then it would become important where I place this. So let's do something real quick. Let's leave this document as it is right there. I'm going to click on this color right here and I'm going to hold down Option as I drag it up here. So it is on the back of this card and I'm just going to simply write back of postcard. Command A. Let's go with the bold font. Alright, so now what if I wanted to make this the back of the postcard? Okay, and I had designed it. I'm going to go to save as a PDF again. See this is the postcard with bleed, with trim. We're going to say postcard back, bleed with trim. Say save. Marks and bleeds. Make sure the trim mark's on. Say save. This is going to become kind of handy for you all when you start printing double sided and you want to cut things. So, again, to reiterate, contrast in your fonts, putting your fonts in pairs together kind of creates a rectangle. Okay, so I'm going to create another layer. I'm going to go File Place. Remember, we did not size this up. This is postcard back with bleed. So I'm going to click one time and the postcard is exactly the same size. But I'm trying to line these marks up. So all I have to do is I'm going to type in back here, front here, so when I'm ready to print my front, all I got to do is hit Command-P, put the paper back in the printer, make sure I figure out which way it's printing, 
turn the, the back on and look, it's going to print, hopefully if I did it right, and if I want to check it, this is something kind of cool, if I want to check it, I can always just click on the object and drop the opacity and jump in over here and just look and see where the, the crop marks are, see that See that black line right there is the, there they are just perfectly on top of each other now. Okay. All right. So now that they're perfect, I can click on the object, bring it up, up, back to 100%, turn off the bottom layer, and I would print the back of the card. And that's how you stack and print flush backs and fronts of postcards. And we went over design.